It's beautiful, isn't it? A giant ball of fire in the shape of the Smash Brothers logo. It's entrancing. And maybe even evocative. Sure, it's a cool symbol, but could it also be symbolic of something more? Now, one of the more common debates since the announcement is whether this is a deluxe port to Smash Brothers for Wii U and 3DS, or something truly new. And one argument I've seen is that the fiery Smash Ball might be an evolution of the flame seen in the logos for Smash Brothers for 3DS and Wii U thereby possibly hinting at something closer to a deluxe version. But in that case, wouldn't one then expect those flames to carry over to the logo that appears immediately after? Which we can see clearly isn't the case. Although, the overall logo with its curved font is still clearly based on the logos for Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS, so maybe there is something to the idea of this being a deluxe version. But here's the thing. Despite its similar but simpler appearance to Wii U and 3DS, the way that the logo pops on screen is nearly identical to how it appeared in Super Smash Bros. Melee and Brawl, with the individual letters stretching and snapping into place. But what about the flaming Smash Ball? Well, fire and flames have long played a key role in Smash Bros. visual design. For instance, at the end of the opening in Super Smash Bros. Melee, a bomb goes off that shoots flames sky high. And when the logo finally appears, those same flames are visible through it before finally darkening. Which is how they appear in the logo on the box art too. Even Smash Bros. Brawl's Nike swoosh, what is that thing anyway, is clearly evocative of fire as well. Which is made even more obvious in the Japanese version's logo which uses an X instead. So you can see the clear progression leading up to the logos for Super Smash Bros. Wii U and 3DS that are literally on fire. Okay, so we've covered every game in the series, except for one, and it just so happens to be the one that shares the same working title as a Switch version, the original Super Smash Bros. And with it being nearly 20 years old, it's easy to forget that this isn't just where the fire motif got its start, but also possibly where it's the most prominent. Take the logo for instance. Despite how different it is to the rest of the series, a close-up look reveals that the word Smash is actually made up entirely of flames. And this is made even more obvious in the Japanese logo. And after turning on the game and watching the opening cinematic, that logo appears over a screen completely filled with flames. Whoa, hold up a second. Did you catch that? When the Smash Ball icon first appears, it's made up entirely of flames. Just like in the reveal trailer for Super Smash Bros. Switch. We truly have come full circle. So by now, it should be pretty clear that Smash Bros. has a long history of using flames throughout its imagery, and not just in the logos for Super Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U. But even more than that is the fact that the reveal trailer for Super Smash Bros. Switch seems to be making intentional callbacks to every game in the series. We have the flaming Smash Ball from Smash Bros. 64, the letters will snap into place like Malay and Brawl, and then the logo itself which has the same overall shape and typeface as 3DS and Wii U. Even the character silhouettes have long played a role in the series, whether it's on the Challenger approaching screens, or in the opening of the original game, or perhaps most appropriately, with Bowser appearing in front of an Inferno, in the opening of Super Smash Bros. Melee. What I'm getting at is that the reveal trailer for Super Smash Bros. Switch almost seems like a celebration of the entire series, which would be fitting given the fact that the 2018 release date means that it would be launching just a few months at most before its 20th anniversary in Japan being January 21st, 2019. So maybe Super Smash Bros. Switch isn't just a celebration of all things Nintendo, but also the series itself. Or at least it seems to be for the trailer. But what do you think? Do you think these callbacks might mean anything? Or is it just a cool way to celebrate the series' 20-year history? Let us know by posting in the comments below. And of course, make sure to click that subscribe button for more on Super Smash Bros. Switch and everything else Nintendo too.